The OSIRIS-REx probe returns to Earth. It will provide samples from the asteroid Bennu. NASA's OSIRIS-REx probe briefly approached the asteroid Bennu in October 2020 and used a special arm to collect material for analysis. These samples will be delivered to Earth this coming Sunday. The OSIRIS-REx, Origins, Spectral Interpretation, Resource Identification, Security Regolith Explorer, probe was launched on September 8, 2016. It reached the asteroid Bennu on December 3, 2018. But it began making its first scientific observations of the object while approaching the target. She accurately determined the shape and mass of the space rock, which helped in selecting a convenient place to collect samples. She detected traces of water there and determined that the subsurface layer of Bennu consists of weakly bonded rock fragments and contains many empty spaces. After collecting the samples, the probe began its journey towards Earth. On September 24, after seven years of mission, OSIRIS-REx will be in close proximity to our planet and will discharge the collected material. A special capsule containing the shipment is scheduled to land by parachute in the Utah desert. Meanwhile, the probe will fly further into space to meet another asteroid. OSIRIS-REx is to release a capsule with valuable cargo from an altitude of over 100,000 meters. Kilometers four hours before the planned landing at the U.S. Department of Defense test and training site in Utah. The capsule 81 centimeters wide and 50 centimeters high will enter the atmosphere at a speed of 44,500 kilometers per hour. The parachutes will slow down the descent, allowing for a gentle touchdown. Then the capsule will be secured and the next morning a plane will take it to NASA laboratories. Just collecting the material was a difficult maneuver. The sampler left its orbit around the space rock and began to deploy its nearly 3.5 meter boom to collect soil samples. Then the probe approached the surface of Bennu and released high-pressure nitrogen from the nozzle, which atomized the dust on the asteroid. And then the soil particles were sucked onto the probe's deck. The mission's goal was to collect at least 60 grams of dust and rock particles from the asteroid. But the probe was prepared to hold more than 2 kilograms. However, Researchers do not know exactly how much material the probe collected during the material collection maneuver. Stones got stuck around the edge of the sample capsule's cover, which caused the material to escape into space. Scientists expect about 250 grams of samples, but the exact amount will only be known once the container is opened. Discovered in 1999, Bennu is believed to be the remnant of a much larger space rock that collided with another, similar object. It is only half a kilometer in diameter and weighs approximately 85 million tons. Researchers describe it as a Class B carbon asteroid. They add that it is over 4 billion years old which means it comes from the times when our solar system was just forming. Bennu orbits the Sun every 14 months, rotating on its axis every 4 hours. According to experts, there is quite a high probability that the asteroid will hit the Earth at the end of the 22nd century, exactly on September 24, 2182. This is one of the reasons why the OSIRIS-REx mission is so important. Learning about the structure of the facility is intended to help develop a mission that can save humanity.
Similar asteroids can also provide invaluable information about the formation of the solar system. Scientists want to learn the chemical composition of the asteroid and thus better understand how planets